Beautiful. All right. Oh, they're going. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Ha! So you've probably heard me say this before in other videos, but we have a bunch of honey locust trees on our property. I hate these trees, they got really large thorns. And then the thorns, they can grow in these clusters. And these clusters can get like uh, about a foot long full of these two inch long thorns. And they're just really hazardous to be around. I've been trying to get rid of all these trees. And I, I don't know if you can see, but we've put yellow flagging tape through here. And we have flagged all the honey locusts in this section. And there is just a bunch of honey locusts here on this section uh, across the pond from our house. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to kill these honey locusts off today. But you can't just cut them down to kill them. They'll come right back from the roots. So we're using a stump killer. We're using a Tordon RT, RTU. And I used this uh, two or three years ago, right after we bought the property, we cut all the trees down on the dam. We had a bunch of these honey locusts on the dam too. And none of those trees came back until I got one sprout that came back this year and I think it's like three years later. So it definitely worked. Um, this year I had a bulldozer actually bull, bulldoze one down. And like two, three weeks later, I had like 20 trees come back from where that tree was sitting. So you can tell the difference that the RTU makes because you cut one of these things down, it just, you get honey locusts coming back everywhere. And um, so that's what we're doing to kill off these, these honey locusts today. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna replant this area back in a black locust. So I know you're gonna hear the name black locust and you're gonna think, why are you planting another locust tree? So a black locust has little quarter inch long thorns or more like a blackberry bush. And I think they're only on the, uh, the uh, younger growth, you know, like the smaller limbs. And it's really good, uh, grows fast, it's good for firewood. It's rot resistant, you can use it for, for posts. So I could use these trees for a few things. They're a beneficial tree that I could use here on the property. So, and it's definitely not as hazardous as the honey locust. So we're gonna plant this area back in black locust trees. And uh, hopefully, you know, a few years down the road, we'll be able to use those trees for firewood or posts. So what I'm doing here is I have a come along attached to the tree that I'm cutting down. The trees are leaning over the field, so I'm trying to get them to fall into the woods instead of into the field. There'll be a chance that I drive a tractor through that area, and I don't want any thorns from these trees laying in the field where I might drive a tractor. So the face cut on the tree should cause it to uh, land on this pile of trees here. I've got my come along at just a slight angle, and then I have... I've got an emergency exit here. So after the tree starts to fall, I will, I've got a clear path in that direction to run. We're gonna go ahead and pull this tree over. So which one to go? And another one down. I'm getting a pretty good pile.
Well, I think that's all the trees I'm gonna cut down today. I'm just gonna try to get this brush cleaned up. So now that I'm getting to the part where I'm just gonna try to handle all this stuff, I'm gonna switch over to my leather gloves. These leather gloves have been what's worked the best for me. These are buffalo hide leather. They're really thick, they're kind of stiff uh, gloves, uh, but uh, usually don't have to worry about getting a thorn poked through them. Well, I'm glad to have all these honey locust trees uh, killed. I do have quite a few small ones over here I still need to do, but uh, I got a good portion of these trees down. So I can I can turn these into firewood. There, um, some of them are better than others. You can see some of them had just a ton of thorns all over the limbs, and I won't probably mess too much with those. But some of them, the the trunks are pretty clean. There's hardly any thorns on the trunks. I'll probably delimb those and uh, cut those actually up for firewood. So there's a few here that I can get some use out of, and. Uh, some of these have just got too many thorns on them. I'll just let these rot in the woods. So once we have all the uh, all the brush piled up and then all this kind of cleaned up, uh, we'll end up planting some other trees in this area and replanting this area. And, uh, and it's starting to rain. Perfect timing. I'll see you guys in the next video.